Mr. Stud. Man, y'all saw Ice Spice and NBA Youngboy Baby Mama on the thumbnail. Y'all read the title, so let's get straight up into it. All right, look. Five things that a woman tell a man that's not just a red flag. It's a red banner. I suggest you guys run away. Detach your heart away from this girl because I'm telling you, it's five things that make a girl for the streets. Now, it's an exception, and I give y'all an exception on certain things, but I'm just keeping it a hundred. But with that said, y'all like, subscribe, comment, whatever the YouTubers say do. Let's get straight up into it, but really like the video though. All right, the number one thing, guys, if a woman take hours to respond and then get mad at you when you take 30 minutes to respond, there's something not right about her and she probably got another guy or entertaining somebody else. Now, guys, if your girl work night shift and you text her and she get off at 7 in the morning and she don't text you back to 12, 1 in the afternoon and she probably sleep. Don't be clingy and obsessed. Come on now, guys. But normally, when the girl just chilling and y'all having a great conversation, nobody sleepy, nobody nothing, and she just go ghost for hours, um, guys, the best thing I can tell you, don't even think about what she doing or who she doing or what dick she sucking. I'm trying to tell you, that's the number one red flag. They go ghost and then to show you that they're guilty, let you do the same thing. Do it. The next time a chick that you talk to take two, three, four hours to text you back, be petty. Take two or three, four hours to text her back. Be smart about it. Don't do it right after that. Right after that. Wait the next week. Wait a day or two. Why she going to go ham on you? That's a guilty conscience. That's letting you know right there. It is what it is. I mean, I always wish for the best. And I prepare for the worst. I mean, I'm sorry if a chick don't answer my texts as a call. It's impossible because I don't text and call them. I'm sorry if you hit me up first. The power of hitting me up first. Let me know you want something. Let me know you want to holler at me. I ain't trying to bother no hoe. I know you so well with the next nigga. I know you so well cooling. I ain't even trying to bother you. So when you hit me up, I know it's for a reason. So a lot of the chicks that, that, that be hitting me up be like, you don't never hit me up. You don't never call me. For what? For what? You will hit me up, but you guys stay hitting them up being all clingy. But that's the number one sign, guys. You guys be really thinking your girl really just be like, what's the excuses they use? I was on the phone with my sister. Oh my God, this happened. My child. Man, girls use their kids for the biggest fucking excuses. They use their kid as collateral damage. I'm telling you. They use, oh, my kid was asleep. My kid this and that. My kids did this and that. My kids had my phone. My kids, my kids, my kids, my kids, my kids. I bet you a million fucking dollars that kid know you and three other niggas. I guarantee you. Y'all be giving these girls a benefit of the doubt. All right. Now, I don't got no teleprompter or nothing. You understand me? So, I'm going off the top of my noggin with this because it is in me, not on me. So, I can just go off the top of my noggin. Number two. That girl that go hot and cold. Now, tell me that ain't the same. That ain't freaking frat. Come on now. Hot and cold and then going ghost. Hot and cold is different from going ghost. Going ghost is just what I told you. When she take long periods of time to respond or to engage or to continue the conversation. You understand what I'm saying? Now, number two is different, hot and cold. Monday, you boo and you sexy, she calling you. Tuesday, you buddy. Uh, Wednesday, you the homeboy. Thursday, you baby. It's because whatever or whoever got her heart and she fucking with, 
whenever they fuck up with her or hurt her feelings or make her feel less than, whenever they tell her she's buddy, she tell you that you bae. Y'all, I know it hurts your feelings, but you got girls like this. She show high interest, then low interest. High interest, that's because whenever he's having high interest with her, she got low interest with you. Whenever he got low interest with her, then she using you as a rebound. Yeah, y'all remember that word, rebound. That Dennis Robin shit. You understand what I'm saying? That rebound. That fucking, mm, that fucking rebound. You just a fucking rebound, gang. He get everything. You get nothing. Let me tell you what a rebound do. You are um, validating this woman. You are whining and dining this woman. Let me tell you what her ex is doing. Fucking all these hoes and getting his dick sucked and fucking her from the back while you missionary style in the hoe. I'm just keeping it a hundred. All right. Now, number three. All right. Let me see. Okay. Um, got friends. Listen. Girls, I don't think y'all understand this. And guys, listen to this. If a girl just met you, I don't give a fuck if it's a week. These girls only wait a day. And you know her baby daddy name, where he from, uh, you know her baby dad. All she do is talk about niggas. Big red flag, big banner, leave her the fuck alone. Them girls that, that, that just, all they do is talk about niggas. Like, I'm telling you, they talk about niggas. Some girls so disrespectful, you think I'm bullshitting. Think about this, guys. Guys be like, huh? Girls gonna be like, wow, I got to stop doing that. Girls don't even realize it. You can be sitting there chilling. You can play Big Boogie. You can play Lil Baby. You can play Lil Dirt. You can play King Von. You can play uh, Young Dolph, R.I.P. You can play any rapper, and they'll say, oh, boy, if I had a chance, I'd show sure fuck the shit out of him. And you guys allow that. No, you don't get jealous. You just tell that girl, I got somewhere I got to go. I got somewhere I got to be. Like, girls don't give a damn, but let you be looking at Lotto. Let you be looking at SZA. Let you be looking at Ice Spice or one of the beautiful girls on this thumbnail. They all bit out of shape. That's what you like. I, she light skin. I'm dark. Or she dark. I'm like, that's what you like. The short girl that I'm tall. That's what I'm saying. It's cool. When they do it, it's a problem when I do it. Fuck it. You guys really got to say fuck it. Number four. Oh, my God. I do $100 FaceTime calls. People at Apple pay me $100 to, to say the same thing, which is cool, but they always be saying the same thing. Listen, if your girl own weed, which is fine. I love me a pothead bitch, but I'm going to tell you why. If your girl own anything stronger than weed, perks, Pins, Xanax, Strooms, anything. Bro, she is out here fucking like a motherfucker. I swear to God. Listen, it's no honor among thieves. If you trust four bank robbers to rob the bank and successfully split it four ways and they all move to the same country and all do, no, somebody gonna have it planned to shoot him in the head. He drive the car off. It's only one of them going to end up with the money. I'm telling you, it's no honor among thieves. So a chick for the streets is for the fucking streets. It's no honor among thoughts. It's no honor among hoes. So listen, the addiction are stronger than you. I done had guys say this to me, man. This is no bullshit. Time is money, so I don't got time to really be playing. I done had guys really say this to me, gang. Like, swear to God, bro. My girl on cocaine, bad, but she come home, her pussy hole this big. Do you think she fucking her dealer? She fucking a horse or somebody? Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, uh, man, I, I only get 30 perks a damn month, and she take five a day, and she over these niggas' house all day. Oh, she love to be spiritual and take solidarity, so she go out to the lake with mushrooms with the fellas. The fellas fucking the shit out of her game. I'm telling you, listen, man. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, 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 listen. 
Listen, a ugly man that supply drugs get more pussy than the most handsomest man driving the most flyest car. That's a celebrity. I promise you. That ugly ass drug dealer can fuck the celebrity bitch because the addiction is stronger. If you got a girl on anything, even alcohol, I'm talking about, and it's uncontrollable, meaning it's an addiction, and she out here fucking, you hear me? Your girl fucking for a bottle of Hennessy, I bullshit you not. Perks, Zans, Strooms, uh, let's not even get into why would you, why would you, I mean, people out here trying to wifey and beat on girls just on milk and heroin, like, and crack, like, come on, man, like that. Why are you taking that serious? Like, come on, man. That's like watching Kevin Hart and Dave Chappelle on a fucking movie, and it's a serious movie. Why would you waste your fucking time? Like, them fucking people is fucking comical comedians. What the fuck? All right, last but not least, I think I done a good job by coming off the top of my dome. Uh, last but not least, uh, uh, matter of fact, commercial break. Um, in the comment section is my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, especially my Facebook and my Instagram and my TikTok. I want y'all to follow me on all three social media platforms. It's pinned up in the comment section. I want y'all to like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We trying to get to, not trying to, we on the road to 100K. It's a motherfucking banger, you understand what I'm saying? So with that said, let's get to number five. All right, um, number five. That girl that's stuck on her baby daddy. Oh my God. If she got two, it's worse. If she got three, it's worse. It's a bond that a baby mama got with her baby daddy, whether she like him or love him or not. And you can't even get mad at it. So if he halfway do right or halfway want to come back, understand if she got kids by another man, you nine times out of 10 sharing this woman. Unless he done something terrible. You guys know I ain't lying. He done touched the kid or he done shot her or something, but I'm telling you, it's like when a woman have a baby by a man, it's just some type of invisible cord that's stuck to him. And I got three baby mothers, right? And one of them I trust, but she has another baby daddy, and I know that connection, so I wouldn't be shocked if she have them been back that way. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be. Now, I have another baby mother that don't have any other kids by nobody else but me. And it's just a different situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, like, like I'm just telling y'all guys, like, when I be smashing all these chicks in the past before I had a chick, I know my chick probably watching, but before I had a chick, when I was smashing all these chicks in the past, Man, this was somebody baby mama, man, like, and they always, like, be talking about their baby daddies. You feel what I'm saying? And they be stuck on these niggas, and, like, whenever these girls go hot and cold on you, they do number two, or they do number one, you know, especially number two shit on you. you I like the way I put that together. When that bitch shit on you, like, it's because of number one, number two, number three, number four, and like I say with number five guys, it's just like, we ain't talking about no burger spot when I say five guys. The more baby daddies that she got you in competition with, man. I'm just being honest with you. You can never be comfortable because if that man had well father, she gonna have to interact with that guy for the rest of her life. And this is a guy that she let nut in her one time. You don't think he can rekindle it? So with that said, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody had to tell y'all, stop loving these hoes, man. Love yourself. Get yourself together, man. You get that money, you chase that bag, the hoes will chase you. With that said, I'm not bashing women, but if you think I'm bashing women, I start giving a damn when I give a fuck. I just know a queen from a hoe, and the hoes outnumber the queens. And queens, if you dressing and acting and dancing and singing and going out with the hoes, then you blend in with the hoes, and a good man can't find you because you so blend in with the hoes. Now, with that said, y'all have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe.
Um, if y'all want me to start dropping more videos, I will. But I ain't gonna lie. Man, I done got rich as fuck. It's hard as hell for me to drop videos now. Cause it's like, I need y'all to motivate me, bro. Like, y'all need to like, 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 like these videos and comment and tell me to keep pushing. Like, the whole point of doing YouTube is to get rich. Man, I got rich without YouTube. I really don't have the passion no more, but I know guys need game. I got so many guys in my inbox ready to pay $100 to, you know, the, 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 the FaceTime. And I got people trying to get money and want to, uh, but I have no interest because I'm filthy rich at the moment. You get what I'm saying? So with that said, y'all just keep motivating me, man. Y'all, I need y'all to be my motivation, man. I, I went from dropping three to four videos a day to once a week to, man, it's about once a month now. And it really took a lot, bruh. It really took a lot to get all that money off my chest. All that stuff going on and this beautiful life and these convertible drop tops. Y'all check my shorts. I'm a, I post on my shorts very, very often. Y'all go like all my shorts. Just scroll through all my shorts. Like all my shorts. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. With that said, I love each and every one of y'all. We're not locally dripping. We're global dripping. Now, with that said, if you want some money, type in global dripping money harder. I harder the money. Go get you some money. With that said, I love each and every one of y'all. Have a blessed day. Gang.